What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I saved this Taito Jungle Hunt from going to the landfill. Can I fix it? What is wrong with it? And if I did fix it, spoiler alert, I fixed it. And yep, a $45 power supply is all that I needed. This part right here is supposed to show that it does work. So if it does work, awesome. If not, let's take a look. <laughs> All right, guys, you know, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. There's a link tree link down below. Upgrading some things on the website because I did make the official move over to Launchbox Big Box. So stay tuned for a couple of video updates that I am really buckling down to get through. Uh, again, be sure to follow all the socials. You would see all the behind the scenes. You would see like me putting this in the truck. I made a little short. It even went to YouTube on the YouTube shorts. Just be sure to follow all the socials because by the time a video goes out, this is probably already done and sold or uh, given back to the owner. Yeah, what are you waiting for? Go follow. Now before we get into details about that cabinet, I do want to mention this right here that's been on my table for quite a while because people are like, hey Vic, what's going on in the background? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This is for E-Rock. My first and most likely only four player mounted on rail shooter. It's been a project. If you take a look at like the wiring here, it is a, it's a bird's nest, but big breakthrough. I basically now have one, two, three, four, four guns. <laughs> Mame hooked. It's a, uh, it's been a project, but now I basically could get ready, start some launch box kind of uh, platform categories, two player, two player, four player and such. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. The four player mounted on rail shooter, very exciting. But on this one today, uh, this video is kind of hard to make because I right now I'm shooting this part and the intro before I got the piece to fix it. So, Hopefully, uh, you know, if the arcade lords are watching over me, I'm hoping that this piece will bring this cabinet back to life. So it will be possibly a, couple, a little bit of back and forth. But for right now, let's talk about how I got my hands on this Taito Jungle Hunt. Who doesn't love a good story time? This one is actually very crazy. Um, as I mentioned, I did save this from the landfill. Um, no, it wasn't on the curb. Uh, I usually have my Facebook marketplace scores. Uh, this one was a little bit different. Uh, it's actually funny, about a year or two ago, uh, I'll fill you guys in if you do watch the streams, I do mention this a couple of times, but basically on Facebook, if you look up like your town uh, where you live, put the word buy nothing, like a group. It's a Facebook group, buy nothing. Uh, this one right here is from buy nothing Nassau County. Uh, I'm in several of these buy nothing groups. Basically, it's people that are just giving stuff away. I've honestly found a couple of like kiddo outdoor toys. Uh, right there, actually, I'll show you real quick. I got a Wii on a buy nothing group. Uh, basically, a woman was doing a garage sale, but she put uh, on the curb a picture. The picture showed a curb with a bunch of random stuff next to a tree. And I saw this Wii box there. I saw this Wii box and I'm like, whoa. What are the chances that the Wii is in there? And she was also giving away other Wii like stuff, like um, the active fit board, which shockingly, um, somebody was interested in that. So I gave that away. But yeah, I went to this area location. They basically just put the street address and I got a Wii with one controller. So that right now is getting modded. But going back again to this, be sure to check out these buy nothing groups. Somebody posted this on buy nothing. And uh, I had to do a double take because I've never, you rarely see arcade cabinets going up on buy nothing groups. But uh, yeah, that's how I got a hold of this. So I'll read you the actual post. It's not a Facebook ad, it's a, it's a post within this group. Somebody wrote, old arcade in rough condition. I haven't tried turning it on in 30 years. Need someone who wants to give it love and bring it back to life. 
and then he put his, uh, basically his uh, city. Uh, and me, along with about like four other people asked, where are you located? What is the location? Now this was like in the afternoon, let's say 12 o'clock. And you know, it, it's free. So I've always said it like, you know, grab it and then ask questions later. Um, I wrote their location, like question mark, like where are you located? And then as I press send, I'm like, uh, I'm like, do I really want to like take this on? What am I going to do with this? Um, it's been quite a while. I've been again in this whole realm for at least about 13 years now. And, uh, if you go back on my original first videos, I used to multicade like Pac-Man's. I had a, uh, I had a Tekken cab that I multicated and, uh, I got flamed like flamed because I was destroying history. Um, I kind of saw this and I said, I could multicate it, but then I'm like, no, the deck, the panel is not multicatable unless I wanted to put maybe like only four way joystick games. Um, but I saw like three other people wrote their like, you know, location, location, location. Um, and those people that wrote location, he replied back. I went back to this post and he replied back to me like, like 30 minutes after I went back to the post at like six o'clock now. So six hours later. Um, and I wrote there, I said, listen, if nobody picked it up, I'll come by and pick it up. And sure enough, the guy DM me, he goes, when do you want to come over and get it? I said, honestly, I'm available right now. He said, cool, come on down. He was about 10 minutes away from me. Uh, and when I showed up, he was like, I don't get people on Facebook, man. They write me like, Hey, what's your location? I'm interested. And then I DM them like he did to me. And he's like, nobody replies. Nobody even looks at it. And I'm like, don't, I already know. I know how Facebook is and all that. He said, honestly, dude, if you didn't take this today, it would have went to the landfill. It would have went to the garbage. And I was like, oh man, I was like, you know what? I'm all in all happy that I got this, um, you know, doing this for a long time. It kind of gets upsetting when people throw out, uh, original cabinets. This is a really cool cabinet. I've never played the game. I quickly like did a YouTube video on it. And you know, from the cabinet, it's like, what, what kind of game is this? There's not really much attraction uh, to it, but a couple of things as I'm doing some research on this, there's like, um, I think uh, I th there was a couple, I don't want to get, I don't want to mix up and piss anybody off, but Taito made a couple of these cabinets. A couple of them were black and white versions. I don't know if this jungle hunt is a black and white version. It's actually funny. I posted this on TikTok and it got a bunch of views, like thousands. And some people are like, whoa, like, you know, good job, good save. Thank God you didn't let it go to the landfill. A lot of positivity. And then one guy wrote there, he's like, Vic, that's not a black and white cabinet. I'll tell you why I thought it was a black and white game. But uh, yeah, that is the background to it. I bought it home, took it off the truck. The bottom, it's, it's definitely seen some water damage. Um, the bottom base is like very brittle. Uh, so I might have to just reinforce the base on that, but I've never had or experienced this type of cabinet. So I came in and I plugged it in and a couple of things happened. If you have the coin door open, which I'll show you right now, I'm going to show you, uh, power is cut off on this cabinet. I'm like, what is going on? And the rear. So right now I have the rear. You don't see it. I'm going to take a walk through. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug it in now. Let's, let's just plug it in. So as you can see right now, I do have the coin door open. I'm definitely gonna have to maybe make a new wire because there's a lot of stuff. So coin door is open right now. Uh, one also unique thing, but luckily I noticed it while the cabinet was on its back in my truck, but in the front left is an actual power switch. I'm like, what the hell? So I was flipping this on and off. And then sure enough, I look at the coin door. And there's actually one of the switches, almost like a pinball machine. Not only is it in the coin door, but it's also in the rear. So sure enough, if I pull, we have life. Now, no joke, that took me like a good like 10 minutes to realize what was happening. Uh, <laughs> that's so crazy. It's got two like fail safes. Uh, again, if I, if I basically open the coin door, it's going to cut, even though I have the, you know, the, the I, I don't know the name of the switch. Someone's going to flame me in the comments, but it's literally like a pinball switch, like a pinball machine with the coin door that basically disables like 50 volts. Or in this case, I would assume it's the whole power supply. Yeah, 
This is what I see. So I see straight white. So this is why I was under the impression it was a black and white version because I just saw white. Somebody on TikTok said, hey, Vic Man, it looks like whoever like messed around with it, the, they, they probably messed around with the contrast or the brightness, and it is all the way up. So I'm like, all right, I can't really do anything right now because the game doesn't work. I'm going to take you in the rear. I'm going to show you what I purchased slash what I believe is the issue. Now, we're in the rear here. Take a look real quick. Check that out. That right there is another power switch thingamabob from Pinball. I'm going to get flamed. It's all right. Um, but yeah, we are in the rear, and I see the power supply down here, which is wild. And right away, immediately, I did some Google searching. Um, I don't even know what type of system this is. Uh, but again, Taito. I say Taito because uh, people say, why do you say it like that? Uh, my arcade games, like the attract mode on a couple of games, uh, it goes Taito. So that's why I go Taito. <laughs> uh, but you can see here, look at the board set on this. And I was doing some research. I believe this is like the video board and the sound board. Then you have the actual like game board with a bunch of ROMs and stuff. I'll probably shoot some B-roll. Uh, a lot of stuff. But basically what I noticed is that in the base here, we have this monstrous power supply. It is huge. There's a bunch of stuff going on here, a bunch of wires. And as you can see in the B-roll, there's two red LEDs lit. And as I was doing some research looking on YouTube on this game, uh, and I, as I did my research, I found other games, I believe like Space Invaders, I'm gonna be, I think it was like one of those. Uh, somebody had a Space Invaders like black and white edition, and it, it looked just like this. And um, in all of these videos I found on YouTube, on the right side, there's two other red LEDs. Uh, and unfortunately, none of the two are lit. Whereas in YouTube videos, I've seen one of the two are lit. Uh, so it led me to believe that the power supply here is most likely fried and done. Now on this power supply, there are fuses. I did pop the fuses. I tested them with my multimeter. Fuses were A-OK. -okay, and I thought maybe if I kind of moved it around, it would bring it back to life. But unfortunately, it did not. So now I'm like, oh, I could most likely pinpoint it to the power supply. Again, the one LED not on that kind of shows me it's a power supply issue. But as you can see here, there's basically two parts. We have like a power supply board, and then we have like the actual like big brown brick in the rear, the main power that is giving power to like the monitor and such. So the top part of this power supply is working. It is good. The monitor is getting power and such, but it's the game part that's not. And with doing some research, I just ordered a power supply. Now, just for a precaution for the screen, because I don't want to mess up the screen, I'm going to cut the power on this cabinet. Look at that. I've never seen the switch on the bottom left of a cabinet. Uh, so like I was mentioning before, I ordered this power supply. Power supply from Arcade Shop. It is specifically designed for this Taito cabinet. Uh, basically, it's like, you know, it's a, it's a, it, I'll show you a picture of it. You can see there, it's like a regular arcade power supply. But then it has like this board for these two, uh, I don't know, connectors, which is known as J3 and J4. And I could see J3 and J4 on that main power supply. So as I was doing research on this, a lot of people were saying power supply, that, that, that ancient power supply that has the LEDs on it, they are notorious, notorious for a dying, breaking, blowing. So. $40 later, we're just waiting right now in the mail for a new power supply. And I hope, and I would assume, it's going to fix the issue on this Taito jungle hunt. I'm hoping the power supply comes in today, but we could go over some basics of the cabinet. It is like filthy. I mean, just like kind of like what the guy wrote. It's probably been in storage for about 30 years. Uh, I took out the, the control panel. Very cool to see like the, you know, your start buttons or leaf switches. Your four-way is leaf switches. So again, I've never played this game, Jungle Hunt. But as I did a quick like search and all that, um, I don't know. You go like left and right, and you're like swinging from vines and all that, and then I think you're you're stabbing snakes. I don't know. It's just a very cool cabinet design, especially with the power switches and such. Uh, one of the coin mechs is missing, uh, but that's okay. At least we have one of the two. Uh, now, Vic, what's the intention? What do you want to do with this? I will not be multi this. That's not going to happen. 
uh, I wouldn't do that. I'm not gonna destroy history. Don't worry, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I know a hundred thousand percent though. This is gonna be a difficult sell. Um, honestly, if I could get like my money back on the power supply, I'll be happy. But my actual intention, I should say, is to fix it and then message John, the guy that originally posted on Facebook. And I would just say, hey, listen, man, I got it working. And if he wants it back, I would be very happy to give it back. And I would just say, hey, listen, it costs 50 bucks for the power supply. If you could cover the 50, cool. If not, he could, he could take it. Um, again, I right now, I hope you guys are proud of me uh, that uh, hopefully, I haven't done it yet. I'm waiting for the power supply. Hopefully, I saved this from going to the landfill. Let's cut now to see if I fixed it. <laughs> All right, well, fast forward two days later, this power supply was supposed to come yesterday, but USPS, blah, 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 blah. Arcade shop delivered. I got a power supply in along with this Taito board that you just gotta connect to the power supply. I'll show some B-roll right now. It's basically a regular arcade power supply, but then it has this additional board mounted to it for the J3 and J4 connections. Now, you can see also in the B-roll that there's this blue wire, there's two blue wires that's really for the AC in and line. Um, those aren't pre-done because those are the type that need like that blue clasp. So the instruction says you have to tap into the monitor power. So there's two black wires going to the monitor. I tapped in and uh, this right now is ready to go. I did not power this on. Uh, I quickly went to go grab the camera, but without further ado, I don't know if I have uh, let's see. So that's a no. Coin door possibly, let's see. That's a no, and I probably have it from here. Three, two, one. I could hear a hum at least from the speaker. I could see scrolling. I don't know if you could see that. Okay, so we're gonna have to play around now with, I assume, some pots. Cause somebody mentioned that they thought that it was too like, the brightness was just too crazy on this. So let's see. And definitely have something on the screen. I see scrolling. It's just more about probably like vertical sync and stuff going on. Um, I'm not gonna waste your time. I do see a couple of pots here. Oh yeah, I see the pots. All right, I'm not gonna waste your time. Let me dial these pots in and uh, let's see if we can get some jungle hunt action. All right, well, mind blowing stuff. This is 10 minutes in now. I'm trying to figure out how to take the glass off. Apparently glass has to come out from the rear. <laughs> Took out like two. I'm gonna be very careful with this. I thought it was like caked on. I got it. Look at that. From the rear. You can't come from the front because like the, this, oh, dude, 10 minutes. I'm like, I'm taking brackets off. There's basically two brackets. There's black bracket in the front and a black bracket in the back. I'm like, what? Anyway, back to our regular scheduled programming. Jeez. <laughs> All right, guys, 30 minutes later, no joke, playing around. Check this out. I got to this, I freaked out. I don't know if you can see it right now, but the game is upside down. <laughs> so the game is upside down. I'm like, oh man, here we go. But I know my arcade stuff a little bit. I'm gonna turn this off. There's actually a dip switch in the rear of this. And what also kind of freaked me out is that I flipped this dip switch and nothing changed. But uh, I'm gonna just kind of leave it off for like 30 seconds and then reboot. The dip switch here is dip switch A switch seven. It says here screen inversion, two player off, one P on. And I turned it, like I flipped it. Oh, it's doing it again. Why did I touch it? Uh oh, this is, <laughs> that's not good. 
<laughs> oh no, why did I touch it? Uh, like I said just now, you can kind of see it there. I did that, I flipped that switch and uh, nothing would change. Uh, I flipped it again and I hope I didn't... <laughs> this is one of those things that like, why did I, why did I touch it, Vic? There we go, all right. Whoo, whoo, almost had a heart attack, but there you go, Jungle Hunt is on, it's on. Now I'm playing around honestly with like the red and the green and the blue dial. This is probably the best I'm gonna be able to get it. Uh, again, I still have to put the bezel on it, but watching like gameplay on YouTube of this game, there is like red. But if I crank the red, you could see red lines on top, but it kind of makes the game look awful. I think this right here is dialed in. I think I'm set. I'm gonna right now just clean up the glass that's gonna go here. And uh, Jungle Hunt looking mighty fine. All right, let's get some gameplay. I've been at it for like an hour. I'm gonna take a break. I'm trying to get the color correction on this correct. Um, basically, there's a part where you dive and the meter, I can't see anything. So it's, I have red, green, and blue channel. It's just looking at like gameplay on YouTube. It's like very high res and like colorful. Uh, I'm keeping in mind it's a CRT. So I don't know, I, I gotta play around with that. But a couple of shocking things. There's two coils in the coin door. Once I give the power uh, cabinet power, it activates these two coils. I've played like 20 games, but that's just because I'm trying to get to this. As you can see here, like, oh, I actually could see it a little bit here. Okay, I'm kind of close. It's like I gotta mark it, but without further ado, I got the service button here, which adds a coin. This right here has been on loop. Man, my man. So at first I thought my joystick wasn't working, but I think I'm able to like control the speed of the vine here. So we'll jump. Good. Dun, 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 dun. Go for it, yeah. Hit it. Nice. Oh, good stuff. That's kind of scary. Beautiful. Good. Ah, that one always gets me. Good jump. Oh no, I thought it was the pool. Oh! Wow, it just brought me in. So like I said, right here, I haven't gotten past this part. Because I don't really know what to do here. It's like, do I pop the bubbles? There are bubbles, they will eat me. It's like, ah! I said, I can't tell if there's a life meter to this. I am getting farther though than I was before. Oh! Good. Oh! I didn't get this far before. Rocket. Ooh, what do we do? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Shooting this live. I have no joke. I've never been this far. Good. Oh! Run it out. Run it out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, nice. Run it. Oh, oh I almost messed up. Nice. I can't tell if my joystick's even doing anything here. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Run it, run it, run it. Oh, I should have went under it. So, okay, my joystick does work here. Okay, so we got big boulders. We'll go over me, got it. Easy. Go oh! <laughs> run it, run it, run it, yeah! Okay, all right. I haven't gotten this far. What are we doing? What's happening? Ah! <laughs> what do we do? Run it again. <laughs> Alright, I'm anxious to finish this video, but real quick, look at the glass. Can you even see me? <laughs> look at that. Oh, we are gonna clean this real quick before I put it back in and then we'll seal the deal on this video. Alright, so I got the bezel back in. Look at this. I got LEDs that were in the bezel here. Uh, basically, they're just a, uh, I would assume this is 
It's definitely like a pinball bulb. Um, where the hell is my power? Here we go. Uh, I was gonna change these out to like LEDs, but um, I don't think I'm gonna have uh, LEDs from my pins. Look at that. Hologens. So they kind of just clip into here. Nice and simple. You should see, I clean the glass. Wait until you see the paper towels after the cleaning. Wild stuff. At least now that I could see the bezel on, um, I could at least try to, you know, adjust the horizontal and the positioning. But for right now, at least, we're good there. Take a look at the glass. So we got like glass. It was much like darker than before, uh, CRT, and uh, after all said and done, there you go. You can see me now. <laughs> so again, this gets placed in from the rear. Let's see if I could, I don't want to quickly do it, but if anything, I'll just cut it to when I get it in the slot. Nice and gentle to make sure I'm not going to... Hit any wires. Look at that. And again, I don't want to let it go. Well, it actually won't matter because again, this right here, like the, 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 um, the piece of wood that holds the control panel in, yeah, don't matter. It, uh, the glass won't go past that. So nice. This is looking good so far. I'm going to just play around with like the horizontal and the vertical and, uh, I'll also real quick, just maybe give the control panel a quick cleaning. Well, after some elbow grease cleaning the glass, I'm gonna work on the control panel and the marquee to you know not waste your time. We simply just close the coin door. And Taito Jungle Hunt is officially revived slash saved from going to the dump. And all it took was a, after tax and shipping, was a $45 power supply. It's a thing of beauty. Uh, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, the sound on it is, is awesome. Like I said, I just have to work on the coloring because that diving thing is kind of annoying me. But I'll get it dialed in. There you have it. Vic VP Game Case Arcades. Gotta hammer in some team holding, but we saved it from the dump. And don't worry, I will not multicade this. No, it's not really worth multicating. Taito, sheesh. Sliding in real quick to see if number one, you're still watching, and number two, as I'm shooting this, I also sent a final video to the original owner of this cabinet, and uh, he replied. I basically said to him, "Hey." I got the game working. It was a $50 power supply. Would you like your game back? He goes, wow, actually, yes, I would love to have it back. The memories I have played that with this as a kid are unforgettable. Then he goes, I can't believe you got it going again. My sister is gonna be really happy. She has played it a lot more than me. Man, Taito Jungle Hunt. It's just an awesome feeling again. Luckily, it didn't go to the landfill, and it's going to go right back to its original owner. Sheesh.